what is up boys today we're back on zaya they just dropped their new halloween update which we're going to check out later but let's show you the game start off game modes there is a ton of game modes Zaya has to offer normal mode master mode which is equivalent to low xp rates but better luck your traditional iron man mode uim hardcore iron man group iron and group hardcore iron man i'm going to be choosing the normal one for this video now something really unique is houses zaya has a lot of houses to choose from each house has a different benefit now if you think i can pronounce these names you're mistaken arcus if you choose this house runes are unlimited however you do get an aura and it has a 3.5 hour cooldown you get passive benefits as well, like burying bonus restores prayer. Next house is Hasidus. Crops are instantly harvested and noted. Again, all these perks come with a cooldown on them. Passive is natural HP generation speed is doubled, which is kind of nice. Not even going to try. Love. Mind ore is smelted without the need of coal. That's kind of OP. Finally, we have Pisk. Fishing. Caught fish automatically cooked. And we have Shazen which is all nearby monsters are aggressive. I think there's a lot of houses to choose from that are really good. Um, if you want to be a major, runes are unlimited. Are f it's fantastic. Now, boys, when you join Zaya, make sure you use YouTube and then use RSPS guy as your referral. One of the best things when you start off on Zaya is doing Colin Colin Wiki. Zaya has one of the most in-depth wikis I've seen. Now, for houses, like I've just said, there are the whole list here. You want to know how to make money? Money making. It tells you everything. The best way to make money. Every boss, every skill, every mini game. It's all on the wiki, boys. It's fantastic. This is the perfect segue onto relics. Okay, boys. So how the relic system work is tasks. You have a load of tasks to do, and every time you complete tasks, you get points towards silver relics, which is a permanent boost on your account. As you see, there are so many silver relics here all having their own perks. Fly Fisher offers a 10% chance to catch double fish. Divinity, your prayer point strain is 10% slower. You can unlock it for three points. There you go, I'm unlocking it. Oh mate, look at the animation, it's so smooth. There's also gold relics. These are better, but are time limited. As you see, when you evoke it, there are so many different ones, but they all have different time limits. So quick shot is 30 minutes, but attack speed and range weapons are halved. They deal 10% more damage while saving 75% of ammo. That's wild. There's also other ones as well, which are really useful. The list goes on, including higher drop rate on all pets. The list for all relics can be found in the wiki. There's a lot of relics that do a lot of different things. Speaking of pets, pet perks do exist. So, for example, if you right-click one of your pets, you can view perks. Now, you can have three different types of perks on your pet. There is a perk in my inventory right now, and I do have a pet upgrade scroll. So if I click the pet upgrade scroll, and I can upgrade my pet to tier 1, my pet will be upgraded. Now if I just quit, equip the perk, there you go, he's got his own perk on him. So boys, this is the Xerix Forge. Now this is where you can pet, get your pet upgrades. You can get pet scroll tier 2 and tier 3. Now they do cost money. By money, I mean a currency. So you can get rid of all the duplicates you don't want at this set of forge. Everything is on here, bro. Literally everything. You get rid of Barrow's items. You can get rid of Void. You can get rid of endgame items like Torva. And that will give you the currency. And then you can buy things at this place. That is really OP. Yeah, it's a really cool system. And pet perks are really fucking cool, bro. There are so many perks for this pet perks. That is actually kind of crazy. There's combat, skilling, and utility perks. All right, boys. Before I get into this Halloween event, I am going to be looking at the collection logs. Because each collection log has their own unique rewards and there's some really op stuff when you complete a collection log including bonds boss boxes are also very good you get a roll of the table of the boss you get another way to get the boss boxes is by voting they've got a cool interface for voting you just click on the links and i'll open up the sites once you vote you can just click claim on all of them that you voted on and you get some vote tickets i did get uh tier one so i got a i got a perk chest tier one for voting Open it in now. Let's go. Oh my god. I'm going to get a roll for... Wait, what's this? Okay. Oh, that looks good. So this gives me Avian Slayer. Additional 3% damage towards birds. That's specific. Now I can equip that and it will replace my perk on the pet. 
Now, obviously, I need tier 2 and tier 3 to unlock the other slots, too, I believe. Halloween has arrived on Zaya. As you see, we've got a load of pumpkins around. The map has been re-themed. And I will say, it looks nice. So, the event, Death Con 2024. Sweet gathering. You can gather sweets, and it's AFK, so you can sit back and chill. Every sweet that you gather will be chucked into the cauldron, so you say it, at home, for the buffs. The more candy that gets thrown in, the better the buffs are. At 100k, it's a surprise. Death Boss does return. They've fixed some things. They've made it a little bit easier. And it's murder on the dance floor. You better not kill the groove. Look at that guy. He's grooving. That guy right there, he's, he's grooving. So I'm at home and I'm assuming I can just read the memorial and start. Oh my God, I got a load of candy. Wait, is this just purely AFK? Or do I have to click? Oh, it's purely AFK. I'm gaining thieving XP and I'm just AFK in the event. Okay, where do we throw the candy into? Oh, we can deposit candy here. So deposit 24 candy. Wow, so yeah, it's just uh, AFK. Collect candy, put it in there and get rewards. Well, that's going to do us for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did make it this far, I appreciate you. Zay is a very cool server, brother, okay? If you do want to try it out, links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching again. Take care of yourself, boys. And I'll see you all in the next video.